Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. For those who are returning, it's good to have you back. I'm Shibabs. If you haven't been following this series about the Ceragon Android Smart TV Model 32DA5000, this is the fourth part. After reading the comments left in the other videos, I see a lot of you had some Wi-Fi problems. So, as an answer to the comments, today we're going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi option or Wi-Fi not showing in your Ceragon Android Smart TV Model 32DA5000. To fix the problem I'll show you three steps and hopefully you get good results. One more thing, if you haven't seen the first, second and third parts of the series, below is a link so you can take a look. Now without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> When you have a Wi-Fi problem, you're always going to find a red mark on the Wi-Fi icon. As long as you see that red mark, it means there's limited or no Wi-Fi. And you might want to check your internet and Wi-Fi in settings just to make sure everything is correct. You might even want to do it manually in ipconfig just to make sure the data there are all correct, the 2D ends, etc. Before we continue, somebody asked me where to find the IP and MAC address of the TV. Well. It's right here. Just go to settings, internet and Wi-Fi and choose the Wi-Fi you want. You should see the info you need. So if you need to use your MAC address in your router interface, just copy it from here. Back to the solution of the problem that most of us have. First and the basic method to solve this problem is turn off and directly unplug the TV for about 10 seconds to try and reset memory. Replug after 10 seconds, turn on the TV and go to settings and then go to your network. Toggle the Wi-Fi icon to turn on and off and then reconnect your Wi-Fi. If this doesn't work, then the second option is check the date and time and time zone. 9 out of 10, this is usually the problem. Go to settings, then systems, find date and time. You're going to have two options, automatic date and time and time zone enabled. I recommend automatic date and time, but if by chance after automatic date and time you still see an incorrect date, then you can click here. You have two options, use automatic date and time or deactivate. If you choose to deactivate, you'll be able to manually set the date. After manually setting the date, then you go to establish time zone and look for your corresponding zone, in my case, Venezuela. And that's it. Now that being said, before installing your TV for the first time or changing the time on your TV, I recommend connecting via Ethernet first to change to automatic date and time. After this, you can place your TV anywhere you want. If this doesn't work, the third option is go to the router interface. This will depend on your router. I'm using a TP-Link router because they are so user-friendly. We are going to go to tplinkwifi.net. Open the interface. Look for wireless. Here, there are two things that you can do. The first is to change your Wi-Fi password. From wireless, go to wireless security, change new password, and save. Then go back to your TV, which must be off. Turn it back on. Go to settings, then internet and Wi-Fi. Look for your Wi-Fi connection and place your new password. The other thing that can be done is to change channels from your router interface. From your router interface, go to wireless. In wireless, go to wireless settings. Channel is set to auto automatically. Change and try channel one by one to see which will work and then save it. Then go back to your TV after each channel change. For example, change to channel one, go back to your TV, which must be off, turn it back on and check Wi-Fi. Change to channel two, go back to your TV, turn it off and turn it on to make sure it captures the internet. Do the same thing until you reach all 11 channels. If this doesn't work, three more things you might want to do. You might want to check how many devices are connected to your router. The more device connected, the weaker the signal for your TV. Also check you have no devices like microwaves, etc. in the way. And finally, you might want to place your TV near your router 
or get a Wi-Fi repeater, but these are not very well seen. After all, we bought a TV to be used anywhere in the house via Wi-Fi. Hope this video has been helpful and has given you enough information on this smart TV Ceragon model 32DA5000. I appreciate your time watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, please let me know what you think about the TV in the comment section or if you already have some experience you might want to share. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching and as always, see you soon.